Hi, this is Jason Gorber from TIFF 2019, and we're here to talk about a Canadian film called Clifton Hill. Now, anybody who's ever been to Niagara Falls knows, like, what dodge-tastic area Clifton Hill is. It's that sort of strip with all the, like, Ripley's stuff and uh, hey you can get um, you can get pineapple flavored ice cream which I'm a big fan of <laughs> yes it's one of the only places in this country you can get Dole Whip nonetheless uh, Clifton Hill itself is sort of um, indicative of the sort of rot that's right beside the beauty of uh, Niagara Falls and in many ways this film takes that as a uh, uh, central metaphor this is Albert Shin's sort of latest dive into quirky Canadiana. It has elements of stuff like David Lynch. There's a little bit of that there. And it's it's ostensibly a crime thriller drama mystery that takes place in this sort of small and surreal town. And because of that, it works really well. There's a bunch of pretty decent performances, but what I really love is you have David Cronenberg back acting. I love when he acts, he's so amazing. He's in, he's in one of my favorite films of all time acting. He's in Last Night. But nonetheless, here he plays a podcaster slash scuba diver. And for obvious personal reasons, that really speaks to me to see him in this role. Um, there's scenes that take place in, in the Flying Saucer restaurant one I ate at a month ago. So, there, so you're, you're able to see these sort of personal connections to the story, but also get a sense of the sort of whimsy, surrealism, and darkness that's at the core of the story, which really is um, sort of a much more heightened, as if Niagara Falls was even more like Vegas than it really is. Um, so it's a very interesting slice of this kind of sort of austere Canadiana that has worked um, for many years for many different filmmakers, and it's nice to see this one sort of um, bring it about into this canon. I'm not sure it's a complete home run, it's a little bit... Um, disjointed at times and some of the things don't quite connect and some of it are telegraphed a little bit too much. But in terms of something that you're going to see that's a little bit offbeat and to see the kind of uh, movies that this country can make if we sort of put, put everything together, um, I think it's definitely worth something checking out for a little bit of excellent CanCon, but um, to see something that sort of brings a little bit more weird outside the Midnight Madness spectrum, something that's playing sort of part of the traditional festival here at uh, TIFF 2019. For ThatShelf.com, I'm Jason Gorber. Be sure to subscribe. Make sure you click the little bell that gives uh, when we're, new videos are posted. And feel free to let us know in the comments what you think of these videos. Follow us on social media, and we'll see you next movie. All the best.